Welcome back. And Bingby Galaxy trying to get to a grand final. Something they really haven't done in quite some time. To be expected when you go for this Marcy, it's a lot of the value from Poshka. He's just trying to stand there, but disposed not under the tower and collapses here with a slithering crush. But look at the sustain. It's not easy to fight, but when these heroes are tethered so close to each other, you do have the opportunity to go to a sleep. Rebound on a two. Turn around here with 1J. First blood for collapse on a ghost, but 1J gets the turnaround kill on to collapse, and they might get Maposhka. They do have dual breath in a second, but the Oof. sleep still might be able to land the dual breath, but doesn't even throw it. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we have seen some pangos. Ooh. Collapse. Yeah, dispose again, and there's a slithering crush going for a ghost, but the sustain, again, pretty heavy. They've got the Lashrak coming over. Sumail making a rotation, lands that stun, rolling thunder too late. Too late to stop that kill, and too late to get a kill there mm -hmm. on a the ghost. Mira trying to interrupt the stacks and get and the wisdom if yeah. he could. But he's a little bit scared, I think rightfully so. FPZ actually just going to keep on chasing him. 1J's here for there a dual breath. Here, 1J also taking mm -hmm. a lot of damage here to the stack. They'll get this kill, and they'll get a Wisdom Rune out of this. Mm -hmm. Take these stacks, get them away from the Beastmaster, slow down that Ags as much as you can. But mm -hmm. now they're starting to rotate over. Sumail comes in, and the chase is on. They do not have Rolling Thunder for the moment. But Yaturo making a move, and this might go really well for them with Sumail kind of just by himself. Ice Path is down, Primal Roar is used. They should be at least able to get a return kill on a Laurel, but they'll lose one J. Yatoro getting his team a lot out of this by getting two kills and even thinking about going for GH's Mira, but eventually he'll have that tether up and they'll be okay. And I'm curious. Moving well, over again. One J, they see him. He's under the tower. They are going to TP in immediately, but they go to the Rolling Thunder and eventually one J is going to die. But if they can kill Yatoro, this is worth it. They land the stun and they'll get the kill. Good rotations in, and wanting more, but won't get it out of that unleash. Not opting for the Spirit Vessel, which I, we've seen before on Pango or the early Blink Dagger. Thinking about throwing Thunder. Pango. This is all for 1J, yeah. though, so he'll be okay with this. Not even the easiest kill. A lot of that Rolling Thunder being used in 1J surviving almost all that duration. Showing himself in the lane, FBZ coming from behind, has this Primal Roar, they just hit the dust on him. Ghost is over here, has the Dispose, thought about the Roar, don't even need it. They'll lose the tier 1 potentially, but massive rotations and holding that Roar not killing Yatoro, that means they can come through as they start to make the move over, find the stun onto Maposhka. And they will get this kill as Mira landed a shackle shot, but it's not going to matter. The ice path connects, and they are going to find another one here as Nigma Galaxy up 2,000 net worth over Team Spirit. There is no IO here. Had to go back to the top lane. Rolling Thunder. Yule's avoiding it. Yatoro's here. Ice path from 1J. Collapse in trouble, and he'll die to FBZ. Sumail healed up. They go for Radon, but the swashbuckle, the damage, Sumail and FBZ fall, unfortunately. Started so good and then ended so bad. Ooh, you can't necessarily always heal through this clinks damage. Oh my Ooh, my god, 1J. Oh, oh. soloing. Yeah. He's low, here. and now they rebound in. The shackle's not going to save, and Radon's dead. They know that Nygma Galaxy wants to go into this Roche, but ooh, 1J, he's really important for their team fight. He's important he's for the team Thunder. fight, but I think he's happy to kind of get the information here. They look over from Aposhka, they'll unleash Primal Roar. 1J still not dead just yet, but the Slytherin Crush comes in for collapse. They'll get the kill to 1J, they'll lose Maposhka. Earth Splitter flying through and leaving FBZ very vulnerable. Ghost trying to fight back, but four heroes are here. Sumail, he's alive for now. Long. And we'll eventually die to Laurel. That oh. is really bad for Nigma Galaxy yeah, right by this Roche pit. Is. He is quite impactful here in Yatora. You don't have that. Oh, but it's just... Ice Path, oh. Macro Pyre. Do they have the damage? Not with Collapse coming over, mm -hmm. but he's not going to commit yeah. to help him, and it will get this kill on Yatoro. 
which just losing GH feels pretty value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is uh, I mean, oof, a little bit overzealous from the side of Team Spirit losing oh, Mira. more heroes than they'd want for sure off the back of this. Mm, on the run. And eventually dying is this physical damage just too overwhelming. And the galaxy could try to come over if they want, but Ghost is, I mean, he's still just here. Yeah, Mira going to land that shackle shot. They're trying to get the sleep. They've got the spirit vessel. They'll have collapse, but now the tether. Ooh, missing the Slytherin crush. A little uncharacteristic there from collapse. Missing that. Ice Path Blade down. 1J is taking a lot of the brunt of the damage coming in from Team Spirit as the Rolling Thunder is on FBZ. He is not surviving, and they're behind the Tier 3 tower looking over at Sumail. They've got the kill on a GH. That's going to be a third dead. Ghost looking to go in a fight, but he still doesn't have this BKB to commit to do so. And you say get a Tier 2. They say get a Tier 3. That Rolling Thunder scaling with his attack damage nowadays. There is that BKB out from Ghost, though, so maybe you can finally look to fight. You gotta hope so, because it's not looking that amazing for them. As Sumail's caught in the front, he's in a lot of trouble to rebound with the BKB. Do they have the damage to get the kill on Yatoro? They'll go to the Primal Roar. No damage here just yet, as Yatoro's trying to stand his ground and finally get the kill on the Sumail, but Yatoro falls. Ghost is dead. Two heroes gone to the side. Enigma Galaxy, they'll take out GH. That's gonna be a third. 1J trying to get up the steps, but this is not looking good as they will lose another. And four heroes for just Yatoro is not worth it at all. He was he was not in the best position, but ends up living and then getting off that barrage just in the last second. So can they try to punish Team Spirit and Poshka out just a little bit too far? Yeah, this is a kill for them to get, but they're going to need a lot more of this to really... Really get it have. done. Plenty Having of people said right now may well. say that he's the current MVP. Mm -hmm. I would for sure borrow. They're going to go and pop the BKB on the ghost. They get the kill on a 1J with the Ice Path and Macro Pyre laid down. They go and focus their attention on Amira for a second. They've got the Dispose. They should be able to at least get that Windrunner, but GH is low. They'll take the Aegis out of the hands here with the Earth Splitter of Sumail. Or, well, the hands of Sumail, the Earth Splitter, takes out the Aegis, and they've killed off Ghost. FBZ Ooh. hit with a Slytherin Crush. This is a full team wipe. Yeah, this one might just be over. Can Nick Galaxy stop them from getting Megas? Rolling Thunder in, and 29 minutes into the game, it's a 23,000 net worth lead. When you get close to this 1,000 net worth lead per minute, it's, uh... Getting close to that time when it's time to call it, it's time to call it. The nullifier will do so much. Rolling Thunder charged up again, and the macro pyre is off the mark. Not the best game from 1J this time around, but a really great game here from Team Spirit, and they are just clearing up the tier fours, holding them back with really a Rolling Thunder and Mira at the front line. Yeah, I mean, the range is so ridiculously far from Radon here, and Marl. All right, they'll try. They'll rebound and be disposed of. Ghost dies. GH is dead. FBZ falls. And this will be game one going the way of Team Spirit. As GH dies, Sumail holding on. GG is called. And Team Spirit, they made it look pretty easy. It's as frustrating as it they gets. They do put... Ooh, Maposhka. He's walking onto 1J, who doesn't have really a defensive option. Does he get this kill on the Pushka? Yeah, it looks like it. One more right click needed, and through the oh. trees. Oh! 1J? No way he turns this. Oh, 1J's back. An absolute god. Both just kind of struggling a bit right here, and but GH does get the Lotus. He'll looks get like the Mira. Lotus, and they'll go for Mira. He has a Dispose. They should get this kill, and they will. Much better time. I was going to say the Jakiro here with the Slardar. Because yeah. I know Sumail is drafting, but mm -hmm. they go for collapse, yeah, and now this is a problem. Mm -hmm. Ghost is out too far, and I've jinxed him. I'll buy those phase boots. <laughs> the Rolling Thunder comes through. Some fancy orb floating. No. GH is dead. Have yep. him trying to play. twin gate, and now they'll dispose him. He'll look for the sleep. The rebound will stop that, and they'll get the kill. Mm. They have four heroes bottom again. They're actually yeah. showing up to go for this one more time. They've brought Yatoro down here. The go 
Have the Ice Path down on a GH who's still alive for the moment. The sleep lands and they get the kill on a GH. They actually sleep up FBZ. 1J and Sumail show up, so everybody from the side of Enigma are here. But it only nets you a kill on a Jakiro. He has 21 charges. Getting a kill should be difficult, right? Body it block, be, stop for a moment. They all just oh, went bottom. Yeah, it's hard mm. for them to get this kill, but he already popped his wand. The look for the sleep under the tower. One more right click. Oh, the mm. float is pass over from 1J. They'd really love to get this epicenter to work this time. Inkswell, Soulbind, Phantom's Embrace. They've got the silence on the two. Mm. They should be able to get the kill on a both, and they do. They also relocate in. They look over for Maposhka, but they're going to chase under a tier two tower with shapeshift used. They want Maposhka oh, under the tier wall. three tower, guys. <laughs> Mira, seems to be the sacrifice, but that is one of the last smokes you have from Nigma Galaxy. Yeah, using a using a lot of them to stabilize this game. They can start to do some damage to it. They bring over Clinks eventually, Ooh. but if Clinks dies. Okay. Inkswell, Burrow Strike. Do they have the complete control this time? They don't even need Ghost. Ghost shows up. Not needed. Go home. Both teams still trying this. There's no like an ulti. Rolling Thunder, and they're going towards 1J, who throws the Soul Bind on him. Laurel, that means he's staying away from the rest of his team for the moment. They get Yatoro out of the fight immediately. 1J still alive, but the Shield Crash comes through with a Slithering Crush. Collapse. He's going to die. Two heroes dead on the side of Team Spirit. They've got to follow up on Talaro. Shield Crash or not, eventually he'll die too. And all three cores taken out by Enigma Galaxy. This is a massive fight for them. Now, with Roche moving down towards bottom, they don't exactly get that immediately. But they are going to look over to get Mira with the relocate. Do they have the damage before they go home? Yes, they do. And they also found Maposhka. This might just be a full team wipe. Avoiding the sleep, he has the wolves who can hamstring. And they're, they're coming over. Sumail's going to have a Burrow Strike eventually. He's got this haste, and this is a full team wipe for the side Enigma Galaxy. Relo is up and looking for kills that you Dust. wouldn't normally expect. Him. Yatoro unleashed on and will die so quickly. Big kill. Ghost losing his courier. There's a Ghost Scepter on 1J as well, but we can get to it. Maposhka. He is dead to 1J. Again, Ghost relocating in with GH, but not being need for the, the damage to get that kill. And they're going for this tier 3. They might even be looking to finish this game with this Aegis. If they can just punish Spirit with a victory in a team fight here, this could be a huge issue. They know there's no Rolling th Well, actually, I don't know if they know there's no Rolling Thunder. I don't know if they saw I don't think they him did, use Rolling Thunder. So they these wolves and such a better read this game. Mira's in trouble. Rolling Thunder off cooldown. They're going to go to the back lines. Looking over at GH. Mira, Mech, Soulbind. Now, Laurel, he's caught between a tree and a lot of heroes on Nigma. I was going to say a rock in a hard place, but it ain't like that. It's a lot of damage from Nigma. They get two kills. They do not have buyback on Laurel. Blink, Slytherin, Crush on the three. They've got the sweep to follow it up. They go to the Earth Splitter, but do they have the damage? The Burrow Strike coming in from Sumail. The Phantoms embrace the slow, ooh, the slow with the stroke of fate. Sumail looking for the epicenter. They have the damage if they can just stick on him. Collapse is dead. Maposhka getting back. Ice path landed by Mira. As they look over at Radon, they're going to try and rebound on top of him. Sumail is dead, though. So now it might be time to pull the cord and, and parachute out. But Ghost, <laughs> GH. Not thinking right about leaving there. just yet. They know Collapse, the Minus Armor, the Corrosive Haze. He is not in this fight for another 30 seconds. He didn't buy back. It another. does feel like that ink swell mm. not going to be used to go to the jump. But they've got a smoke. They think about the Rolling Thunder. Again, the focus and attention is on a 1J. There's that Nullifier Soulbind. They might even turn this around. Burrow Strike comes through. Shield crashing. They've got the Ice Path as well as the Macro Pyre. They'll pop the Shape Shift. Rolling Thunder is going to continue on for just a second. They go to the Shield Crash on a Sumail. They buy back on the Grimstroke. Laurel on the run. But the Nullifier, the Unleash damage. Laurel's dead for 50 seconds. No buyback. And that's going to be a dual breath on FBZ. He needs to be careful. But the Burrow Strike lands on a Yatoro. Four Staff trying to get away. Gets Invis the sleep. Oh, my God. The sleep. It doesn't matter. They're in your dreams. They're in your nightmares. Nigma Galaxy continuing to get kill after kill after kill. Trying to get through. Oh, yes. Sumail ready. Has Blink in four seconds. Burrow Strike in one. Maposhka on the edge of the Burrow Strike. Caught, killed, gone, and Nigma Galaxy. They're going to force these buybacks as they go for the Tier 4s. That's what that kill ended on Maposhka.
Yeah, Enigma Galaxy. There's the Roche is spawning, so they can just retreat if they want to. Our smoke, they could go through mid, but Laurel, swashbuckle forward into a burrow strike. And they go to the Unleash. He's dead immediately. Yatoro is going to be in trouble, but the four staff away from the rebound. Now the Blink, Slither and Crush from Collapse. They might be able to take the Aegis out of the hands of Ghost, but he pops the BKB and turns around onto the Slardar. Ice Path Macropire not going to do enough to keep Ghost to die, but he backs off, seeing a little bit too much damage up. Slither and Crush, FBZ backing away, and they've got the kill on Amira with that epicenter. They end up losing FBZ though. Yatro's got the damage for that. 1J ends up dying Yatro as well. They hit the sleep. Ghost. Oh dear. Starting to feel the damage of a Clinks, and they need to be careful. Getting some kind of important kill. Insert cigarette company here as they'll find Yatoro. Soulbind, and somebody's going to TP in and actually connect on this. It might be the Jakiro. They stop the TP, but it's going to be a blink in with a Slytherin Crush that comes in from Collapse. They get Soulbound together. They'll lose this Slardar. Yatro's dead too, forced to buy back while they already lose Maposhka. They buy back on Yatro, we've seen his damage be overwhelming at times with the Rolling Thunder hitting on his Sumail to pop the Ink Swell, so he's gonna be purged. And they get the Mega Creep secured. They start to back off, but Laurel, silence, Stroke of Fate misses, still rolling, the chase is on, Yule's up into the air, Sumail, Pearl Strike ready, Stroke of Fate in the Sandstorm, Shiva's rolling up, trying to get out with a Swashbuckle. But meanwhile. And meanwhile, Ghost is going for your tier 4. Your throne's exposed. And they'll rebound in. He's got an Aegis. You don't want to force it. You want to just get this throne. The Macro Pyre. Is down, as well as the Ice Path being laid down by Mira. They'll call GG. We're going to a game 3. Nigma Galaxy coming back with a vengeance in game number 2. That they are. I, I didn't think that this draft would look as clean as it was. But Nigma Galaxy, they... There's a lot here to steal that I think could be really impactful for Rubik. Yeah, there is. So it just depends in... Ooh, GH Holy. walks up a little too far. Mm -hmm. But the facet from Phoenix means that you do a lot of damage just kind of standing around, but... You're trying. Lotus. Lotus still available. Mira gonna Lotus. Gush comes out. Blood Grenade. Mira's gonna die afterwards. Ghost can't get the kill on to collapse. So they've got a blink dagger already here on this Sand King. 1J is going to be in a lot of trouble, if not dead on his screen already. There's no tier 1 mm -hmm. tower to retreat to. Nowhere for anybody to TP in to save him. And this is a kill going to Yatoro. Yep, Mira's just going <laughs> to... He like almost took it, kind of. They're going under the post guy, who's and... actually dead. Oh. He will burn yes. to the fire spirits. GH gets that kill, but here's but collapse. collapse. He's level nine. He's got Ravage available. They also have the Sand King with the Blink Dagger ready, but Collapse not choosing yeah, I'm to go to that want Ravage. To. This is a nice part, a little bit of Tidehunter. Is it's very hard to walk into and ooh, Laurel. Finding this like in FBZ, even popping the ult, but he is gonna die immediately. Not really what you want if you're gonna be using that first ult. It's, it's hard to do the damage here on a collapse. Uh, they go to the Laguna Blade, they throw the LSA, but nothing doing for the side Enigma Galaxy with that. He's been so much for Enigma Galaxy. But collapse might die this time. This time. This time he does. And Ravage expended on that too. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty yeah, good if they want to go and fight, away. and they're TPing over mid. Blood Grenade, 1J going to the life drain, but they've got the Acorn shot. 1J's actually in trouble. One shot from dying. Nether Blast is there. Mm -hmm. LSA lands. They get the kill on Yatoro. Huge. But Sumail having to back away from Laurel. Telekinesis, they've got the lockdown. They'll get the kill. The Earth Splitter flying in. Oh, Sumail surviving still. Mm -hmm. Probably centered mostly around preventing either team from getting Roche. With Lycan, with Phoenix, you're great at taking it. And Life Drain, Sunray, actually, usually can. actually kind of starting to break the seams. Icarus Drive into a Supernova. The pipe was popped. The blink away from Collapse. That'll at least secure the tower. But they also shape-shifted for this. They'll hamstring Maposhka. They'll chase for this kill. And down goes the Elder Titan. It gets the tower. Yeah. It gets the kill. It, it's not amazing with the shapeshift as well as the egg being used but now they're gonna go for the epicenter of the barrel strike sharpshooter didn't get to the low ground but they're looking sharpshooter stolen and sumail is dead something to really watch because we always talk about how fragile a rubik can be 
a couple of deaths and all of a sudden you really don't feel like you're a part of the game as they lose one J there as well. And if they fight into this and end up ultimately losing a fight, I, again, it's right here. Sumail in trouble. They have the OBS on the high ground. They'll, they'll kill Sumail. And now the Gleipnir Ghost has to do everything. But look at the Laguna Blade. It tickles. It doesn't do enough. They land the sweep. They've got the Ravage. They have no Sumail. They'll look to get the kill into GH. And now they'll kill off Ghost. Oh, boy. This is spirit. Just from 3K to 10K. Enigma Galaxy. And again, it's... I mean, you're not really getting it anywhere. Ghost was kind of the one person you needed to. They actually have the perfect... Maposhka's vision has been so excellent this game. Ghost. The chain's done. Looking inevitably dead. Ravage while high grounding himself on that cliff. They'll get the kill on the ghost and they'll kill this support of Sumail. Nice duels from GH, but Marl's pretty fast. and Marl strike and GH is dead. And it's not providing them with much. Burrow Not Strike, like Shape Shift, Yules. They've got Ravage ready to go when he hits the ground if they want to use it. But they will just anchor him down, sharpshooter him as well, get this kill on FBZ. GH gets back into the base, but they've got the sweep. They'll have the blink. They'll hit the Burrow Strike. LSA comes through with the Laguna Blade. The Telekinesis, the control, but the Ravage is through. Collapse. Just stunning up the entire side Enigma that was left with the BKB being popped by Ghost here. They'll buy back on 1J. The LSA lands onto the troll. He's deep in the base, but turning it around. The sweep from Aposhka, the telekinesis from Sumail. They're trying to get him in to this well. But Yatoro able to walk all the way out of the base without taking much in terms of damage and fearing that he was going to lose his life. They do have these heroes back in 20 seconds. Could be game over. 1J spotted. Gush. The anchor smash, the bushwhack landing. He bought back when they were defending their base, and this will send Nigma Galaxy the other way. But they're trying to catch up to these heroes. Four staff forward. They'll steal the sandstorm. That slows him down with the phylactery. Sumail sitting in it, but he's going to be in trouble with the team following up. Blink near after the Burrow Strike. They go to the Supernova. They've got the damage to get the kill on Alaro. He's out a little bit too far. So now Nigma Galaxy, they got that, but there's an Invis Shadow Bladed Radon. Ready to make his move. And they are going to really slow down Phoenix with this anchor once again. They'll end up stealing Gush. They see FBZ. They'll sleep him up as he tries to TP out in front of everybody on Spirit. And he dies too. No buyback. Go to Roshan. Radon is invis. Man, FBZ. Getting caught in a... Burrow Strike, 1J. And this is going to be a four step forward into a Telekinesis, but he's got an Aegis. This is Gush with Ag, so it's not awful, but Burrow Strike on Ghost stepping up. Ravage to follow it up, but Rubik not able to steal that Ravage. And gets the anchor. They'll buy back on Ghost. The BKB's been popped by Radon. They'll go to the LSA. They've got the Telekinesis. They have the damage to try and get the kill here onto the troll. Ooh, and they the will. Nova. He does not have ult. The Supernova going to be used here. Gush. Oh, Invis. Epicenter. Burrow Strike going after GH. Getting the kill onto the Phoenix. Looking towards the rest. FBZ needs to run because the Atoro's doing a hell of a lot of damage. Telekinesis onto the Sand King. Sumail's going to die. He does not have buyback. They had that anchor. They go to the Icarus dive. They've got the fire spirits. Yules up into the air. The blink burrow strike away. Buyback comes out from Sumail. A second too late. They can't get the second kill on the odds row. And it's a 35,000. Collapse is going to come up the steps. They have this vision. Now they need to find somebody. And it will be Laro, the one they've been reliably able to kill. But the blink into the ravage. Oh, hitting on a three. Supernova's used. Ghost in trouble. Bushwhack. Third splitter. They get the kill on a 1J. They're going to look at the rest. Supernova does explode. Ghost trying to get the kill here on the collapse. Stolen Ravage thrown over, but it's not going to matter. FBZ. He'll end up dead. They buy back on 1J. The Glickner's thrown, but they've got that Wind Waker, I believe, from Laurel on to Radon. Sumail gone. 1J dead again. Ghost trying to TP out. He'll be Yules and hexed and killed and gone. Four heroes dead. Icarus dive away by GH taking their attention. But Yatoro has his eyes on the prize. They'll call GG. 
and it will be a rematch of PGL Lockia as Team Spirit will play Extreme Gaming in the Grand Final BO5. GG.